Yo, what's up guys? JB here, representing JB Extreme Fitness. I know it's been a while since I did a video for you guys, but today is that day and I'm going to make that video. So check this out. It's Sunday. I've just left the grocery store not too long ago. Uh, I have my food for the week. I'm going to do a little meal prep. I'm going to explain about meal prep, give you guys some of my tips, um, show you some of the supplements that I'm currently taking to help me in the gym, to help me with recovery, to help me build muscle and maintain muscle. I'll show you some of those products as well, all right? So just keep up with me. Don't judge my kitchen. I know I need to do the dishes, whatever. I, and I had to make time. I had to make time to make this video for you guys, all right? So first thing you wanna do, let's do that first. Uh, and meal prep and take, keep this in mind. Meal prep doesn't have to be boring. I know it's like a, it's a long process if you do it right, you know, because you have to fix your meats. Um, you may have to cook your vegetables and like your starches, like your potatoes or your rice, whatever, whatever you use for your carb sources, you may have to cook those too. So if you're cooking for the week or cooking for a few days in bulk, it takes a little bit of time to do. So it's not a quick, it's not a quick meal like the microwave where you just stick it in and press five or 10 minutes, you know, um, and that's not healthy anyways. So. Someone's calling me. All right. Anyways, so yeah, usually if you have to microwave your food and it's not something that you've already prepared from scratch, usually that means it's processed. And processed foods aren't good for you. So keep that in mind. Anyways, first thing we're going to do, because um, my dad corrected me one time. He's like, you didn't wash your hands in that video. I did wash my hands. I just didn't show myself washing my hands. But check this out. Wash your hands first. It's a nasty world out there. Use some kind of antibacterial soap. You know, get up in that clean hands. Usually, I have my hear, uh, my headphones in, and I have some music playing. Or I have a podcast going, something to like that helps pass the time while I'm in the kitchen. You know, doing my thing. So uh, I'm not gonna put the headphone on because I'm talking to you guys, obviously. So I'll just play a little bit of Kendrick in the background. Kendrick Lamar, by the way. Yeah, he was the first person that popped up on Spotify. By the way, Spotify is pretty dope. If you don't have Spotify, it's basically uh, streams music. It's nine ninety nine a month. It's worth it. Uh, anyways, off subject. So since I touched the phone, I'm gonna wash my hands again. All right. And let's begin. All right. So make sure you guys can see me. I got this thing in selfie mode. All right, so let's check this out first of all. So this week, I'll be having for my meats, I'll be having salmon, I'll be having tilapia. That will be my uh, meat sources of protein. I also will be having some egg whites. So I usually get these at Kroger or Walmart, but it's just the cartons. You can get the half cartons or the full cartons, whichever. I get a lot of them because I use a lot of these. Uh, I use. I eat eight, eight egg whites in the morning for breakfast, so that's one of these. That's one of the uh, the 16 ounce carbs. So that's one whole one usually makes egg, eight egg whites. So anyways, I'll be having that as my protein. I'm also a uh, adding this Fage yogurt, total zero percent. So this is something new I'm trying. Uh, I'm gonna add this to one of my meals. Uh, so this. The serving size for this is one cup, it's 130 calories in one cup. Uh, one cup is going to be about 23 grams of protein. So for me, I need double that amount, so I'll be having two cups. So that's going to equal 260 calories for me. So that's how you do that. You got to learn how to read these labels so that you know uh, what equals what. You got to know what you're getting. You know, you can't just go. You have to have a plan. I'm sorry. If you want to, if you want to look good, if you want to get in shape, if you want to lose weight, if you want to gain weight, if you want to perform better, you have to have a plan. Anything you want to do, whether where there's going to be progression, there has to be a plan. You can't just do something that has nothing to do with what you want as a result and expect something to change. You have to change in order to see change. That's a fact. Anyway, so check this out. Uh, I also have greens, so usually I'll get kale, spinach, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, green beans, I'll just cycle through those. Uh, 
And the reason I say cycle through those is because sometimes I'll, you know, I like kale. I'll have kale for the entire week. By the week two, week three, I'm burned out on kale, so I'll switch to spinach or green beans, etc. So it's good to have a variety of green vegetables in your diet. That's so where you're going to get your fiber from. Uh, some of the greens are going to be antioxidants, so it's going to help prevent you from getting sick, cleaning your out, etc. You can do your own research, but greens serve their purpose and it's very helpful. It's very healthy. Look them up. It's like kale, that's a superfood. Spinach, uh, asparagus, a lot of those greens are like they have lots of purposes. So lots of benefits as well. Anyways, I'll be having some sweet potatoes. Love my sweet potato, uh, my sweet potatoes. I'm coming off of rice. So I'm switching from rice to sweet potatoes. And then I was doing cream of rice as uh, my morning carb, and then I stopped doing any carbs for breakfast. And now I'm putting oats back into my breakfast. So I'll be having some carbs from the oats in the morning. All right. So my meats. Me and the girlfriend went to, uh, this is my first time getting meat from Fresh Market. I usually get my meat from Kroger, Walmart, or Costco. Uh, Costco is usually a better deal in the long run, especially if you're a competitor or someone who's prepping lots of food for the week, just because you get more for less, if that makes any sense. So you buy in bulk, you save a few dollars. So Costco or Sam's, some type of place where you can uh, buy in bulk, wholesale, like that's the way to go if you're in prep it saves money but i haven't costco is a good 15 20 minute drive for me so i've just been going to kroger and getting my meats for uh, my prep food but anyways went to fresh market today first time ever got this salmon check that out and it's marinated with so keep in mind if it's marinated i usually don't get marinated i usually get let me show you what i normally get so normally, so normally I'll get this one, the pink salmon, and you get this at Kroger. So normally that's what I, I'll get, but girlfriend's been bragging about how the fish and all of those like type of meats, the seafood type of meats, they're better fresh. And I normally cook them frozen and they get boring really quick. So decided to give this a try. If it's marinated, it's going to have extra sodium it's gonna it might have sugar it may have some extra carbs uh it may have some extra fats as well so that's the thing when you you know you can you can try to eat clean and you have too much condiments or seasoning or something like that and it can throw your diet it can completely destroy your diet this is just something i wanted to try so i'm gonna make these i'm gonna show you guys how to make these keep that in mind once again when you're buying your meats you want to buy them in their raw form no marinade, all right. So natural would be the word you want to look for on the on the packaging. Anyways, uh, these were sesame glaze salmon fillets, and then I've got some tilapia fillets. Whoever's watching this, I know, I know about the the, the tilapia scandal. I know, I know, I know all about it. You know, I, whatever. We don't have to talk about that. I like the tilapia. It's easy to get down. If that's how you feel, cool. But I like it. It's easy to get down. I can eat it very fast. Cod. Um, cod is a good choice. Probably it's better than it's actually better than tilapia. But cod is the texture. It's, it's more dense, I guess. I guess that's the word I'm looking for versus the tilapia. The tilapia, I can eat it quick and I'm done with it. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it either. You know, but after you eat um, after you eat the same meats very frequently throughout the week you know certain things tend to get boring you don't have to do that i like to do it because it saves time so i'd rather have a plan have my macros all calculated out the calories i'm getting keep my plan the same i don't have to think about it i know what i'm eating all of my meals throughout the day you know some people like to uh it's called if it fits your macros and that's where you keep track track your foods all day you can use an app let's turn this down a little bit you can use an app like my fitness pal um, that's gonna allow you to track the foods that you're eating that gives you the calories uh, the macros and all that so you can do that if you want to it just takes time I've got enough stuff to do already so I don't want to do that I really eat the same stuff that I already 
made a big plan for or got a big plan for, whichever, and just follow that. Saves time, it's easy. Anyways, so I got my tilapia, I've got my salmon. So when you're meal prepping and you're handling these meats like this, make sure you wash your hands. I already washed my hands, so let's begin. All right, so let's bring this in. Check this out. I'm trying to go quick, so, you know. All right, so normally, normally what you want to do, let's turn this this way. Boom. There we go. I don't have a video or a photographer, guys, so bear with me. Anyway, so normally what you want to do is go ahead and preheat, uh, preheat the oven. So normally around 375, something like that. When you buy your uh, meats package, it should tell you on the back. Uh, usually it's 375 is what uh, what works for the meats that I use. All right, that's what's recommended for the meats that I use. So anyways, you can use one of these pans. And like I said, I cook a lot, so I don't want to keep cleaning the same dish. So what I'll usually do is I'll buy aluminum foil. Just ratchet. Yes, I know. I don't care. Judge if you want. Anyways, I'll buy aluminum foil. And I'll cover my pan like that. Spray it with cooking spray. Stick it in. I'll cook some. Get done with those. I don't have. To, I don't really have to clean this a lot. Because sometimes the fish and meat, certain meats stick to the pan. So I'll just throw this away. Uh, give me another layer of aluminum foil. Place it over there. Cook it again. It just like once again it saves time. I don't have time to spend all day, so I gotta. If I can make shortcuts, I make shortcuts. Safer, anyways. Or you can use one of these pans, which is a, a deep cooking dish. Regardless, always spray it with some kind of cooking spray, so it doesn't stick to the pan. So I use. I usually use the Kroger brand or the Walmart brand. Butter flavor cooking spray or I'll use the olive oil cooking spray. It's zero calories. Make sure you get the one that's fat free and zero calories. You gotta save those calories. Things add up. If you don't believe me, I'll give you an example. So this this is uh, olive oil. So this is good, like this it's good to use olive oil. But the serving size is one tablespoon is 120 calories. So for all you people who cook out there. Make sure you're measuring this stuff and make sure you know what it costs to do that. So, you know, if you're not measuring it and you just pour it all up in there, you don't know what you're getting. You could easily, with one tablespoon being a serving size, you could easily, easily end up pouring like half a cup, two, two cups, and like, we're looking at like a thousand, maybe two thousand calories from, from this. So, like, keep that in mind. And yeah, some people do cook like that. I'm from the South. Alright, so anyways, let's start with the salmon first. My hands are washed. I'm going to use, this is my choice that I'm going to go for for the salmon. I'm going to put that on there. I already have the oven preheated. I'm going to slap it on there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Boom, slap it on there like that. I got four pieces. Pretty good deal, I think. I spent... I got two pounds for $27, but it's more fresh, so it's going to taste a lot better. Now, the other salmon that I showed you in the refrigerator is two pounds as well, but it's cheaper. I think it goes for, like, the two-pound bag right now is, like, 13 bucks at Kroger. So, that's a better deal, but this is going to taste better because it's fresh. All right. Let's get this on there. Bam, got another piece on there. And bam, and yes, once again, yes, I know it's marinated. Bam. There's the salmon. All right. So here's a safety precaution. These are two totally different types of meat. Come from two totally different types of fish. I have salmon gump on this hand. So guess what I need to do? I need to wash my hands before I touch that tilapia. That is called cross-contamination. Not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say that I haven't uh, touched one meat and then touched the other. But hey, you live and you learn. Make sure you learn from your lessons. You don't want to get handling food is a big deal. 
If you've ever had food poisoning, you know this. You're, you're in the bathroom all day if you ever get food poisoning. Terrible. All right, hands are clean. Bop, bop. We're gonna hit this tilapia next, all right? So I got my other pan over here. This one, boom. I haven't placed the salmon in. You can cook them together. I'll cook mine together. You can cook them together. And I don't care if you're not supposed to, I'll cook them together. They're in two separate pans, all right? So let me do what I do. All right, so once again, the other pan, I've already sprayed it. Pre-sprayed it before I started the video. Bam. And bam. All right. So this, uh, the tilapia is not marinated. So here, this is what uh, any of you guys who are new, new to uh, food prep, meal prep, etc. You've never done it. You're trying to lose weight. Regardless, you're trying to lose weight, gain weight. Here is the trick. All right. So first, before I show you, let me wash my hands one more time since I touched that tilapia. This is the part. So we're going to get the condiments, not the condiments, I mean the uh, seasonings. So these meats, when they're in their natural form, where they haven't been processed, they haven't been marinated, they haven't been touched with, if you cook them like that with no seasonings, it's going to be really bland. It's going to just not taste good at all. So the trick is seasonings. But Mrs. Dash, so Mrs. Dash, you can find that at Walmart, Kroger, uh, Publix. Most of your grocery stores are going to have the Mrs. Dash. It's going to look like that. Flavor. All right, so they have different flavors. Like they have the chicken one, that's the chicken flavor. They have Southwest Chipotle, they have a jalapeno. They have lemon pepper. They have several different ones, garlic, uh, garlic herbs, Italian herbs. I mean, they have a lot of them. So that's a good one because it's salt free. There's no sodium, all right? But, you know, some people aren't as sensitive to sodium and can have more sodium. If you know, here's how you know if you're sensitive to sodium. If you retain water, if you're bloated easily, um, you're probably sensitive to sodium and you need to keep your sodium at a certain level. Um, you'll have to go to your doctor, a nutritionist, or someone who uh, is an expert in that field to let you know what that is. Anyways, moving on. We're going to use the Southwest Chipotle. Dab some of that on there. Let's bring you guys in a little closer. Show you how we do it. All right. So, here's another little trick that I do too. So, the cooking spray, I'll spray. I'll spray the fish. Just a little bit. Just to kind of give it some moisture, right? This allows it to cook, cook better also. Man, you can't even see me. All right. So we're gonna put some lemon pepper on here first. Bop, 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 bop. Then we're gonna put some. I'm gonna put some chicken. I like the chicken seasoning. Don't judge me. It's my. I'm the one eating this. So if you're, uh, sometimes these seasonings when they're in the cabinet, sometimes moisture tends to get in there, and it seems like it's stuck. So if it's stuck, just give it a little bop. All right, moving on. Put the chicken on there, boom. Sometimes I also use cayenne pepper. So that's some good pepper to use. And then we're gonna put, we put the Southwest, the lemon. I'm good, now we got them all. All right, so these are done. Let's show you guys. We got the salmon and we got the tilapia. All right, so it's ready to go in the oven because the oven's already been preheated. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's been preheated. So we're gonna stick that in there. I put them side by side. So boom. Actually, I always cook mine on the bottom rack. Bottom rack. Bam. Either the bottom, either the bottom or the next one up. So it's already preheated, 375. Normally the tilapia, I, I do it for like 30 minutes, but it's frozen. So, it's not frozen, it's fresh. So I'm going to cut that in half. I'm going to use 15 minutes. 
So I put it on 15, and yes, I guesstimated. But what I'll do, I'm going to give you my, give you all my secrets. Here's how I figured it out. So, 15 minutes. I know it'll take at least that long to, to, to prepare the meat, right? So I'll take a peek at 15 minutes. If it's still pink, if any of the meat ha still has pink in it, on it, in it, wherever, then it's not done. There should be no pink in fish. That's how you get food poisoning. So make sure you've cooked the fish, all right? Um, so that's in there. Let's let, let me show you guys some other stuff. Um, all right, so check this out. Walden Farms. Back up a little bit. So Walden Farms. Bam. This is a good source to get condiments from that are zero calorie. All right. So this one is barbecue. So thick and spicy barbecue sauce. Now it's not gonna taste like. Uh, it's not gonna taste like a good barbecue sauce. Is the ones you're used to. Um, I can't even think of a masterpiece. It's not gonna taste like masterpiece. It's not gonna taste like any of those. It's just gonna have flavor. So like the meats that you just saw me use, or if it's chicken, or if it's beef, or if it's ground turkey, like it helps give it some type of extra flavor. Some people like wet meats. Like some people like tossed meats, if that makes sense. So that that's meats with the condiments just dripping off of it, or just a little bit of wetness. You know, like some people like dipping sauce. So this is something to play a trick on your mind and make you think you're getting something good, but you know, you're saving calories. That's what it's all about. You have to play tricks on yourself in order to get through this stuff sometimes. Keeping you guys the game, man. Anyways, got a ranch one. I use that from time to time. Uh, they even have, just one more, uh, for salads. So they have salad dressings that are all, anything Walden Farms that is a condiment zero calories there's no calories there's just sodium sometimes and then there's like the aspartame and that's i mean that's it that's something you should be aware of do your research on it but you know this is just something you can use if you know to play tricks on your mind or to make your food taste better so but do your research on what's in what and then there's another one chocolate so for all my uh, sweet tooth people they got like chocolate, they have the maple syrup, they have marshmallow, they have strawberry, and they have several other ones. I don't know all of them exactly. Um, but that, yeah, it's just that the chocolate is actually pretty good. And the maple syrup, it's actually pretty good. Some of these, some of these salad dressings, some of them are iffy, I'm not gonna lie. Like the ranch, the ra it's not real, it's not ranch ranch. Like, <laughs> it's not the ranch you're gonna get at Zaxby's or, or Chick fil A. So, but like I said, zero calories. Barbecue sauce, eh, it's okay. Once again, it's not masterpiece. So, those are some tricks that I use. Um, some other things I wanna show you guys. If, let's say you're, um, you have a job, right? Most people have a nine to five. I hope you do. If you don't, you should probably get you one. Life would be a lot better if you don't have, if you have one of those. Just kidding. But anyways, uh, so when you prep your food, I guess I should show you the other first. So you saw that I prepped tilapia in one pan. I had at least four or five pieces, and then I had salmon four pieces. So obviously, like that will last most. You know, if a person is not in, not doing food prep. Your average person is not eating that much meat in a day. Like that's a lot of protein. Uh, most people that will last just that amount of meat itself will last people like an entire week. So, anyways, that's all for me. So, obviously, I'm not gonna eat it all right now. So it's got it has you know some of it. Uh, I may not use it all in one day. So I may have some left over. So what you do, you get your rubber made container like that. Or a bigger one or a different one. This is just an example of one that I have. And you know, you can put at least a pound or so of meat in this thing, maybe two pounds. You know, that's just a way for you to storage it. Um, your meat, some people like their meats to be extremely fresh. If you do, and you know, you're not going to eat it tomorrow, by tomorrow, freeze it. You can freeze it and it'll last and stay fresh longer. Anyways. So that's for the bigger ones, you know, get you a few of these, that way you can separate your chicken from your fish or your turkey from your beef, etc. Uh, and then you want to get you some smaller ones to where you can make individual meals like these. 
and then you can take those to work with you or take those to school with you, you know, in your lunchbox. It makes it easier so you guys don't have to give your trainers excuses about why you uh, didn't have your food. Preparation is key. So this is this is one of my tricks. If I'm going to have a long day, I'm not going to be home to cook my own food or I'm going to be somewhere where I can't get the type of food that is in my plan and that I'm supposed to eat. Guess what I do? I prep my food. I separate them. These are individual meal containers and I take all those with me. If I'm worried about it being fresh, they make ice packs. I have one somewhere. I have a few of them, but they make, they make ice packs. These actually came with, uh, this is actually a meal prep container that, uh, from a backpack that I bought called Isobat. So it comes with like four of these big ones, maybe two small ones, whatever, little individual meal containers, and it comes with two ice packs like this. And this actually lasts 12 hours. So I freeze it at night and I put it in my cooler, stick this in there. Actually, I have two of them, so I stick them both or whichever. And my food will stay cool for a few hours. Give you guys the game. There's no excuse. There's no excuse to why. There's no excuse to why people can't eat what they're supposed to eat. Unless you have a job, and I understand, like, unless you have a job to where you can't leave, like, you're doing something where you cannot leave the operation, like, to go eat. If that, I understand what that means. But most people don't have that type of job. You know what I mean? Like, you have lunch breaks and you have breaks that you take. Most people do. Or you can find one. You got to pee at some point, right? During the day? Like, I know you got time to eat. Even if it's, you know, like, if you can't eat four meals a day, like four smaller meals a day, not big meals, like, that you fill up off of, but, like, smaller meals, even if you can't do that, that's why they, that's why they make supplements. And you see, let's move some of this out of the way so you guys can see. But bam, you see? BPI, BPI Sports. So I'm a rep for them. But this that's, that's what supplements are. So you have protein. For example, this is protein, Way HD. This is one of BPI Sports protein. So if you can't, if you don't have time to eat a meal, sometimes it takes 15, 20, 30 minutes to eat. A protein shake is easy. I mean, it's literally, you fill it up, like you put, you know, six to eight, maybe 10 to 12 ounces of fluid. Usually water is the best, but, or some type of low fat uh, almond milk or skim milk or something like that. But water is usually the best. It'll tell you on the back of the pack. But anyways, you put, you know, however many ounces of your desire, whether you like your shake thick or you like it thin or, you know, whatever. Like, you put it in there, you put your water in there, you put a scoop or a pack. If this, this is a sample pack, but normally it's a scoop or two scoops is the serving size. You put that in there, boom, boom. Shake it up just like that, maybe 30 seconds at the max, and it's ready to go. You drink it, you know, like one serving of the Way HD by BPI Sports is 25 grams of protein. So that's equivalent to about four ounces of meat, usually. Usually. So, I mean, it's just simple science. It's not that complicated, I promise. You just gotta... Sometimes you guys need to ask the right questions, but it's not that complicated. You gotta put in some work. I mean, obviously, I still got six minutes to go on the uh, on the stove there. And I don't wanna talk all day, guys, because I know your attention spans aren't that uh, Your attention span isn't that long. So, yeah, protein supplements, protein bars, Use what you can, that's what the supplement, that's why the supplement industry was invented in the first place because people like shortcuts. Online, that's why you have fast foods. Shortcut, saves time. That's why you have a remote to your television so you don't have to get up and manually change the channel. You know, that's why we have cell phones so we don't actually have to travel to people's uh, place or location to talk to them. You can just punch in those numbers and like communicate with that person across states you know like man you just gotta think guys anyways um i think i covered everything speaking of the bpl sports like i said i'm a rep for them 
Um, I mean, we have all kinds of things that can help you with your goals. We have fat burners. I'm currently taking one now. Yeah, so the, the current fat burner I'm taking is called Roxy Lean. It's a thermogenic and it's also an appetite suppressant. So it's going to bring your appetite down a little bit, help you control those cravings that you might have. So this is something that I use. Once again, it's called Roxy Lean. Whatever it is that we can help you with assisting your goals, we probably have. We have fat burners, we have creatine, we have BCAs, which is branched chain amino acids. We have aminos with energy. We have pre-workouts. We have several. We have some that are powerful. We have some that are less powerful. We have some that help with pump. Um, we have some coffee creamer that's really cool. Keto bomb. That's, it's actually really delicious, not gonna lie. So it's a creamer, it's a ketogenic creamer for your coffee or for your tea. I put it in my protein sometimes, it tastes really good. So if you're on a keto diet, this is something that you probably can have because it has fats, um, some healthy fats, some MCTs, which is medium chain triglycerides, which is also some good fats. And uh, the carbs are low, but it tastes amazing. So it's something you can play a trick on your mind. You know, you're not going to Starbucks, but you're getting something that's actually helping you with your fat loss goals or your weight management goals. So I think that's cool. That's a cool product that BPI came out with. Um, and that's, I mean, there's several other products. There's test boosters. Um, there's several things. Um, whatever it is, you can look on bpisports.com. And if you see something you like or something that'll help you with your goals, you know, select it. And when you get to the checkout part, it's gonna say discount. So our promo code, my promo code is JB, or J Buchanan. So J-B-U-C-H-A-N-A-N, -A you type that in, that's gonna take 20% off your entire order, all right? So I think that's pretty cool. So if you guys, if there's something you like, like I said, use that promo code and it helps me out too. I mean, if you don't use it, cool. Like you're still rocking with BPI and that's cool. So one way or other, I don't really care, but you know, if you're getting it, you might as well help your boy out, right? Right, cool. Anyways. Um, so that has a few more minutes to go. Oh yeah, so real quick, before I forget, this is also something very important that you guys will need for meal prep. Uh, you'll need measuring utensils. For example, you'll need like the tablespoons, like these, or the teaspoons, etc. And you'll need like your, your cup, your half a cup, your fourth of a cup, three-fourths of a cup, etc. Two-thirds. And you also need something to weigh your food with, some type of food scale. So you may have a digital one like this one, I mean an analog one like this one, which is the old school, or a digital one, a digital one which uh, it's usually flat and has the numbers. It's usually battery operated. One of those, I don't have one to show you, but one of those, probably the digital would be the best route to go. It's a little, more, it's a little bit more expensive than the analog, the old school, but um, you'll need that to weigh your foods because it may be in ounces, uh, it may be in grams, etc. So you'll need to be able to weigh the amount of food that you eat so you know how many calories you're getting. So measuring it and weighing it is very important. I repeat, measuring your food and weighing your food is very important to how many calories it is that you're getting from your foods, especially when they're in their raw or natural forms. All right. So keep that in mind. All right, so let's check out this meat. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention in the beginning, but one thing you want to do is make sure you set the timer. All right, so set the timer of however much time that you're going to be cooking the meat for, and then it'll go off just like that one's going off when it's done. All right, so I said 15 minutes because I guesstimated. So let's see if you guys can see that. So it's not quite done. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's not quite done. So now when I say not quite done, I can tell that the bottom has been cooked, but the top needs to be cooked a little bit more. So here's another one of my tricks that I use. All right, so on your stove, it's gonna say broil. So I hit the broil button. Boom, what the broil is, that's the burners. That's the burners that's on top, the ones that are going down. See, it's all kind of tips. It's all kind of tips. Cali Muscle ain't the only one got the tips. Anyway, so you put it on broil. It's probably gonna say 500 degrees. I usually don't use 500. I put it on the exact same temperature that I had bake on. So 375 is what I baked it on. So 375 is what I'm gonna broil it on. 
So I'll roll it. It's going to cook the top without cooking the bottom. It's going to cook from the top down instead of from the bottom up. Dang. Anyways, for the time, like I said, it's almost done. It's not done. So we cooked it for 15 minutes. So why not let's add maybe seven minutes. If you want to play it safe, five. Right? So I have it on seven. I'm already in the kitchen. I don't plan on going anywhere. So I'm just going to be checking it every couple of minutes. You got to stay in the kitchen, guys. That's how you cook. You got to stay in the kitchen. Some of you guys are trying to cook and watch TV shows and you're burning up the bread. You shouldn't be eating the bread in the first place. I'm kidding. But when you're baking, if you're baking something, like something that, you know, like you don't want to burn it, stay in the kitchen and just check it. Boom. No, it's not done yet. Let's give it another one or two minutes. Don't go sit down and watch no TV show. You know, like you can get on the phone, stay in the kitchen. Don't go outside. Don't do too much. Don't go too far. Bam. Check it. See, I'm looking at it. Check it. Look at that. Look at that. Check it out. Man, that's going to be good, man. That's that fresh meat. That's that fresh meat. It's going to be good. Anyways, so, so that's another six minutes. Uh, I'm thinking four, but I'm not going to make you guys wait four. So we'll come back and check it out, and I'll let you know what happened. All right, so we said seven minutes, and there is three minutes, 20 seconds left. But it's done in my opinion, so let me show you guys. Let's take a look. So make sure, make sure. When you put it in there, for the most part, you probably need, you probably should have an oven mitt on when you put it in there. I didn't have one on, but I knew it wasn't that hot, and I'm just sticking it in there, like literally just sliding it in there. When I'm taking it out, it's going to be hot, so make sure you have an oven mitt or a towel or something, something to protect your hand from burning yourself, all right? Anyways, boom. Let's take it out. We got the salmon. Oh, yeah. The tilapia, look at that. Can you see it? That tilapia. Yeah. So I just set it out on the stove like that. Boom. Push this back. Just like that. Pop. Done. See how I protected my hands? Turn it off. Boom. Alright, so I'm gonna show you. I didn't show you guys the salmon. Let me show you guys the salmon. Look at that. Done. Fresh. So anyways, it's hot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it cool. Get over here. My lighting is funny. Guys, my battery is low too. Anyways. So I'm going to let that cool. Keep that on the stove. Let it cool for about 10 minutes. And then once it's finished, boom. Put it in here. And then I'm going to separate the, what's, well actually, no, that's the wrong steps. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put what I'm gonna use tomorrow and these in the small ones and then in the big one I'll put what's left. Alright? So that's how you make it easy. You have it ready, there's no excuse. Make it the night before, whatever however many meals you need for tomorrow in whatever order that they go in, if they go in an order. Make those the night before. Put them in your lunchbox the night before. So when you're walking out the door, you grab your lunchbox and go right out the door. I'm giving you guys the game. All you got to do is turn that key. I got plenty of keys, baby. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this was helpful for you guys, please like and share this video with a friend. Um, I want to I wanna add value when I make these videos every time. I want to give you guys something to help you guys along with your journey. Because... Um, you know, I had to search a lot of the things that I've learned on my journey. I had to search for or I had to get that, you know, get those, get that information from someone else. And I'm gladly giving that to you guys, you know, so I'm giving you guys the game. Um, but there were people who gave me the game too. shout out to those people. It's too many to list off right now. But anyways, if you like this, like I said, like the video, share with a friend, um, comment below, leave some feedback. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. It helps me out. And... Keep being awesome, guys, um, and that's it. And once again, if you're down with the BPI Sports and you want to save that 20% off, that promo code is jbuchanan at bpisports.com. Keep being awesome, guys. I'll see you next time.